Hello everybody, it's Time for Fight here, and I'm bringing to you a bunch of leaked content, and you've probably already seen this somewhere, but in case you haven't, I'm going to go over some of the exciting stuff that's soon to come. First off, this stuff is not officially released yet, so it's still subject to balance changes. That being said, don't get upset if you see something that looks overpowered. As you can see, there's a bunch of new titles and a bunch of new items, which I'm really excited about. Which This seems to be offering a lot of personalization to your character and your image that wasn't there before. Uh, the emblems don't seem free, so I'm assuming they're either for Zen or for GP. There's a new announcer voice, which is their robot voice, and a new your person voice, which is the child voice. And I can see this as being a little bit annoying. Not really sure. We have a lot of new heroes. I'm going to go over some skins first. We have a new Grendel skin, which... Eh. We have a new Viper skin, which looks pretty cool. A new Duchess skin, which looks... Kind of slutty, to be honest. And a new Mars skin, which looks pretty cool. Alright, on to the first new hero. We have this engineer guy. He seems kind of overpowered. He moves faster than you can move with a normal character with his build. He also has more stamina than I, th I think more stamina than you can get with four gear slots with a normal character. He has a depot item railgun. He has a repair gun and a pretty good gear set. So I think he'll be really, really good for siege mode but probably overpowered, to be honest. But we'll, we'll see what they do with it. We also have a light armor guy with 150 HP, decent stamina, and a whopping 9.85 run speed. He also has 8 recharge, which is very good for that run speed. And he has hard suit battle mode, which is complete crap, a turret as his depot item, a combat rifle, and what else does he have? A decoy, which is another kind of crappy item, so he doesn't seem very good. We also have another lightish armor character, which is Lazarus the Medic. And she comes with a refill health, which is awesome because it allows you to have a free slot to do whatever you want with it. And a revival injector, which should be great for clan matches, but kind of seems like a crappy hero all in all. And here's a hard suit based champion that comes with the depot item hard suit and HRV ping for the tactical gear. Uh, she has really good stats on everything except for her run speed is lower than a normal character would have with that amount of HP. Here we have a heavy armor hero that comes with a lot of headshot protection, a good recharge, health injector, which is awesome, and refill ammo for the depot item. And another heavy armor hero that has the exact same stats as the previous one, except for the depot item airstrike and hard suit battle mode for the tactical gear. And finally, we have the much anticipated White Knight. Uh, White Knight can only be obtained by referring a thousand people to Blacklight, which is definitely a lot. Not a lot of people are going to get the chance to use this guy. Uh, he's tagged as a soldier, so he doesn't really have any specific role. He has a very good average gear set and amount of HP. Seems pretty reasonable. 215 HP, decent run speed, decent everything. He has the depot item rocket swarm, <clears throat> overpowered. He has a heal injector, which is awesome. Not a lot of heroes actually get the heal injector. And combat knife, MK2, HE grenade, and proxy mine, which are all pretty good depot items aside from the combat knife. So, he seemed pretty good. Probably uh, wouldn't mind using him if I got the chance, but I probably won't. Now, I just have a few more things to go over before I get into the new weapons, which I know that's what everyone's waiting for. We have a bunch of new helmets. A lot of them are promotion-based, so keep an eye out for key promotions. We have some aesthetically pleasing helmets. We have some more skins for the new helmets, which are pretty nice. Uh, this alien looking helmet is pretty cool. A red one, which I kind of like. Uh, looks a lot like the Bonebreaker helmet, to be honest. And here's a clown one, which is really obnoxious. 
some more collars, uh, pretty cool helmets. We have extremely obnoxious helmet. Wow. And some more default. There's a lot of skins for the default helmet. And a lot of them are earned by promotions now, which is kind of cool, because I guess that makes it free, in a sense. We have this helmet, which is, let's see, uh, Steam Promotion. And as you can see, this is a glitch, so I don't know what this temp helmet is. I guess they haven't added a skin to it yet. And there we go, that's the it of the helmets. Now uh, we have a bunch of new emblems, some of them are old and re-added. So I assume they're finally going to fix the emblem so that they actually work now. A bunch of promotional emblems, which are kind of cool. What else do we have? Flashlight. Yeah, some of these have been here before, but they just aren't activated yet. Uh, Blacklight Trophy, which a lot of people should have, but they don't. The Headshot one, the Grenade one. We have a bunch of new camos. A lot of them are, again, promotional, so they have logos and stuff on them. We have the gold camo that the devs have. We have IGN, MMO... The silver camo. What else? So yeah, a bunch of new camos. That's pretty cool. And now moving on to the new receivers, we have the light machine gun recon. And after looking at the stats, I'm not exactly sure how to feel about it. It has extremely low recoil and just impressively low max spread. And I'm I'm not sure how this is going to balance out in game because it has even lower max spread than the heavy assault rifle, and we all know how overpowered the heavy assault rifle is. The fire rate is lower, so it won't it won't have a quicker kill time, so that's good. But this is definitely going to be a weapon that you're going full auto with. As far as the run speed, it's still really slow. It isn't by any means a light weapon. It's, you move faster than this with the heavy assault rifles, so that's kind of nice. However, it's still, it is still a machine gun. The base accuracy is very, very good for a light machine gun, though. So that's what's kind of confusing me, is from what I've seen, this looks to be kind of, I don't want to say overpowered, but it looks like it's going to be a good weapon. And here we have the auto shotgun. And I compared a build to a similar build that I constructed with the regular shotgun for a fair comparison. And the stats seem pretty similar. The auto shotgun has more run speed. Um, the spread is a little bit bigger. It does the same amount of damage per pellet. I don't know if it shoots the same amount of pellets though, so... That's the deciding factor on its actual damage. Um, and the fire rate is over double. So if it shoots the same amount of pellets as the regular shotgun, this is going to be a very overpowered weapon, just looking at the stats. But again, as I said before, these haven't been released yet, so it, they're not necessarily fully balanced. So don't go raging at the devs because you think it's overpowered, because it's probably not been finalized yet. Also, one more thing I didn't bother to go through is there'll be a lot more pre-mades added to the game, well over a hundred of them, and I didn't bother to go through them because I just didn't see the point, because they're just normal weapons with attachments that you can't really change. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, please click the like button, and subscribe because we'll be uploading a lot of videos um, giving you tips on particular builds or how to be effective with certain weapons and stuff like that. And anyway, thanks for watching and peace.